flying through the Himalayas, it's almost easy to miss it. Everest's dark gray slopes are hidden behind other towering peaks. Tibetans for centuries have revered it as the mother goddess of the world. Climbers know it not only for its beauty, but also for its temperamental spirit. It's a changeable personality and um, it can be vicious one minute and can be so friendly the next minute. This year, it's Everest's human population that brings the trouble. I just said the bad words. Why I was angry why the word pissed off. Over the radio, an Italian mountaineer has just called a number of Sherpas slaves. This after a shouting match over climbing routes. Yep, I copy that. I know what word you used and uh, I don't like that word either. At Camp 2, 6,400 meters above sea level. Angry Sherpas throw rocks, a knife is drawn. The Italian and two other Europeans are cut and bruised, but escape further harm. No violence, please. With no police presence, the climbing community quietly tries to deal with the problem. Sherpas are at the heart of commercial expeditions here. The European climbers involved are some of the best. Worried bad press may hurt business, outfitters help broker a peace deal. While the peace agreement has both sides admitting they were at fault and promising to never allow a high altitude brawl such as this to happen again, it's very clear here at Everest Base Camp that tensions remain and all is not forgiven. Conflicts are bound to happen. Everest oh, yeah. veteran Singapore's Ku Sui Chow says the problem is there are too many people on the mountain. More than 400 will attempt to summit this year. Well, I would say for a pure mountaineer, Everest is too crowded. You may have to choose a different mountain. Yeah, Everest is really commercialized. Last year, Nepalese Canadian Sharia Shah Chlorfine reached the summit, but just hours later died of exhaustion. These pictures taken earlier show how lineups created long and unnecessary delays, sapping a climber's strength. Nepal earns close to $12 million a year from Everest expeditions. While the government admits the problem, it has no plans to limit permits. The government is trying to make the best way to make the Mount Everest uh, climbing, the mountaineering, more safer. In the meantime, policing the mountain, and the numbers on it remain the responsibility of climbers themselves. And as history has shown for so many, its lure, irregardless of inherent or human dangers, will prove too much a draw to turn away from. Steve Chow, Al Jazeera, Everest.